In this laboratory, we're going to see how much force is required to balance a lever that has a fulcrum or a pivot right here. Now it can swing back and forth, and I have a weight on a string. At first, I need to know how much force is being pulled down in this direction, and that's where a spring scale comes in. And so I measure the force of just the metal weight for just picking up the metal plate. Next, I'm going to put my metal weight at different places on this meter stick. Now what's convenient is the bar has distances from the fulcrum to where I place the weight. Now if I let go, it's going to swing like this, but I can place the spring scale on my, uh, on my lever and see how much force is required to make it balance by pulling on the spring. Then I'm going to move my weight to 0 0.40 and see how much force is required to make it balance on the lever. And then 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 all the way down. In the second part of the laboratory, it's the weight that's going to be kept in one place and then the spring scale is the thing that's going to move down the track. And so I'm going to see how much force is required to hold it up here, and here, and here. 